Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So before I get started, I want to share with you a very quick product review um, on a electric heater that was sent to the Carolinas. It has gotten colder and I'm a crafter and some of you guys out there are crafters or work from home or even at your um, job, your workplace, you may have a desk or something like that. And sometimes temperatures can be colder inside as well you know when you're working sometimes people don't want to turn the thermostat um up turn the heat up so it's great to have something like this electric heater here that i'm about to do a quick review on for you guys and i want to share with you really quick the specs on it it is very small it's a um desktop heater so it's perfect for you if you're working from home or you have an office or your own little private little space that you can heat up when it's um really um cold or even if you're in your bathroom you know when you're getting out the shower or something like that you don't want it near the water of course so even if you're in your bathroom you definitely can use it there when you're getting out of the shower um because it gets rather warm um when you're kind of close up it won't it won't warm up a, a bit room or anything but it will warm up a good space like right in front of you like a little bit of space right around you so this is a very cute little heater and it is a voltage of 120 and yeah the power rated at 600 watts so it's 600 watts of heat that is emitted on the back, it has a little fan. As you can see, it has a little protective gate um, that goes up to make, so you can't stick fingers or anything in there. Now that piece is sitting down there. It has an on and off switch. And it has a on and off um, switch here. Now I have it plugged up. So um, I'm gonna share with you how it works. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys and let you see um, exactly how it works now not only that this fan it um turns it rotates and it has an automatic shut off button if it was to tilt over or fall it would automatically shut off which is great especially if you have kids like myself so let's see it work all right so this is the back piece that i was talking about i put that little gate it comes on and off um this little gate here you can take it on and off okay so that goes there and let's turn it on. Okay, so it has like two settings or three settings. This one here is when you see right here, this is a bar. I don't know if it's, the camera's picking up, but it should turn red. And when it's red, that lets you know that the heater is on and it is emitting hot air. And then they have a rotation button here that if you turn and then it will begin to turn. So it's like a um, touch, it's not actual buttons here, but it's like a sensor touch thing that they have going on. And you can see it doesn't do um, 360 degrees, it doesn't really even do 180, but it just kind of turns a little bit left to right, you know. So if you touch this, um, I think it's the power button again, you see the light turn blue. Now it will begin to cool off and emit cooler air like just cool little wind blow a little light little wind blow it's not like a lot of wind that will actually cool cool you off but it does have a nice little wind blow that um comes out of it when it's on the blue then when you hit it again after 15 seconds it will turn off so again i think that this little heater is super cool um but anyway they are going to offer my subscribers 50% off of this heater for, I think, to November the 14th. I will check um, to be sure on that, but I'll have it linked in the description box. The deadline for the 50% off code that I will leave in the description box and a link to where you can purchase this cute little desktop heater. So, okay, y'all. So, that's it for the review on this cute little heater. So, now we're going to begin with our video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have a very quick DIY for you guys. This is going to be a Z Gallery Inspired Bella Vase. Now this vase is a vase that I hauled from my local Goodwill a little while back. I probably paid a dollar and some change for it. Um, as you can see, it's not that big, but it's not really tall. I mean, really small either. It's actually the perfect size for where I want to use it, which is upstairs in my master bathroom. Um, these items are what I'm going to use 
to try to get that Z Gallery um, Bella um, decor look. Now they do normally use, I think there's some type of beading or whatnot, but I'm going to use this right here because I had it on hand. It is this glass decorative filler. Y'all, I changed my mind when I looked at it and decided just to use the glitter, so I did not use this glass filler. And then you're gonna need some Mod Podge. And I'm gonna use a variety of glitters. This is some gold fine glitter. And I'm gonna use this more um, chunky silver and gold glitter here. And I'm gonna use a sponge to get it all together and a little mix and bowl. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and let's get started to DIY. So first thing first, I'm going to make my bowl concoction of Ooh. Mm. my potch and my glitter. My baby still has a lasting cough. Y'all can hear her up there coughing, poor baby. But she's doing really well. So I'm going to add in this uh, Recollections Fine Glitter. And I am going to be kind of heavy handed with it because I do want that um, glitter to shine through. Okay. So as you can see, I was really heavy handed. And then I'm going to add this chunky glitter as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take the tip of this old um, paintbrush and just kind of get this a little mixing. Now, everyone who has not ever used um, Mod Podge do know it comes out white and pasty, but it does dry clear and shiny if you choose to get the one that says Luster, uh, Gloss Luster, and that's the one I usually like to use, especially when I'm looking um, to make my glam pieces, um, but you can get it matte and you can also get it dishwasher safe as well for if you're making like cups and stuff. But anyway, so now that I have that all mixed up like that, and y'all, I apologize for my light and it's not the best right now. I'm actually in a dim space and it's dark and this is a last minute DIY. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've been so busy doing other stuff and trying to catch up on other DIYs, but anyway. Nonetheless, I'm still going to try to bring you a nice and wonderful DIY. So the first thing we're going to do is dip our um, paintbrush in our Mod Podge. And I am just going to spread it on here. I could tell right off the bat that the smaller pieces of glitter is, glitter is not picking up the way that I wanted it to. So what I am going to do now is sprinkle some on here. Because like I said, I want this baby to shine. I want it to shine. So um, let me get my extra bowl. Because I want to catch as much of this glitter as I can. I don't want to waste. And I'm just going to... Hold it like this. This actually may be a better way than the other way I was originally trying to do it. Okay. So you can see I have it like that. But I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to uh, turn it in. Go on to the next side. Now the big pieces of glitter is coming through this way. But the smaller fine pieces was not, which is why you saw me just give it a little sprinkle on there. So y'all can see that's gonna be pretty. Look at that already. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mommy like it too. Why do you I have to hold it that way. Yeah. Uh, You're my pretty girl. I love you. I love you. Oh, no. Like a teddy bear. I see your teddy bear. Yes, I do. 
So this is going to keep on stroking, y'all. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to keep doing this until it's done and I'll be back. Okay, so now some of the dry. I put some more Mod Podge on here. And this time I'm going to sprinkle some of the chunky glitter up here. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. And it's all dried and this is what it looks like all completed. Y'all, this is so simple and so easy and makes such a beautiful impact. It would be wonderful as a gift during the holiday season or just for entertaining. This is part one of my entertainment DIY series. So be sure to keep an eye out on this series. It would be great for you to use during the holiday season while you're entertaining with your family and your friends. Until next time, you guys, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.